Welcome to DNews, I'm Ross Everett, and alcohol might be messing with your swimmers. A study conducted on 1,200 Danish men, stop me if you've heard this one, showed that drinking as much as one alcoholic beverage a week can lower the quality of your boys. Talk about sperm, which might indeed one day yield to actual boys if used properly. Not just quantity, sperm killings for the birds. The study found that a lifestyle lending itself to one simple drink a week could affect sperm concentration, count, and percentage of healthy and normal sperm. Essentially, taking your Michael Phelps and leaving you with some Michael Whelps. The study was conducted during the men's physical examination before joining the army, as was mandatory in Denmark between 2008 and 2012. They asked the men how much alcohol they drank the week before the assessment and whether or not that was a typical amount they drank to rule out binge drinking or special occasions. And while alcohol consumption led to testosterone levels rising, it caused the sex hormone binding globulin to fall. Which makes sense because the glycoprotein is produced mostly by the liver, which is also the part of the body people apologize to on Facebook after a night of heavy drinking. Of course, the heavier drinkers who consume more than five drinks a week saw the greatest change in their little Olympians, lowering their sperm count by 33% and their normal looking sperm by 51%. But even those who only slurped down one drink a week showed a slight decrease. Keep in mind, this was just an observational study, so other possible factors, including lifestyle choices of those who tend to drink more, weren't taken into account. But similar animal studies suggest that alcohol does have a direct impact on sperm quality. What do you guys think? Is this a public health concern or could this just be a nice way to control the population with a buzz?